Welcome back. Let us now see how to solve the question number 15 in the Certified Kubernetes Administrator Killer Shell Exam Simulation. Question number 15, task rate is three percentage. First, let us use this command to switch the context. We'll do, we'll do it on both the nodes. So just to make sure. Um, it says write a command into the specified file which shows the latest events in the whole cluster ordered by the timestamp and use the kubectl for it. So this seems straightforward. So we can use kubectl get events to list the number of events. And what we do now is uh, we have to generate uh, the events or we have to get the events um, across the whole cluster. Uh, so we have to use DAS capital A uh, filter for that. And we have this sort, sort by filter, uh, which we can use to sort the results uh, using anything that we supply here so we are, this will sort the events by its creation timestamp so so this is the command so what they are asking is we have to use uh, write this command to this uh, file so we'll simply uh, echo this and we'll write this to this file they have specified. Let us now see the content of the file. Another thing is, um, so the alias will not work if you are writing the commands into the file. So if we want to put that to test, we can simply execute this shell script and it came back saying K not found, it does not understand the alias. So just to make sure, it's better to use the full command inside the file instead of the alias. So let's test it now. So this one is working fine. So we have solved this part of the puzzle. The next section says, now kill the cube proxy pod running on the node cluster two dash worker one and write the events in uh, events this cost into this file. Uh, so cube proxy uh, should be running as a pod on the control plane, or uh, um, basically on the cube system namespace. So let's get the pods. Uh, also use the lit switch dash o wide and in the cube system namespace um, and we are interested in only the cube proxy let's filter using the grep so we do see two um, cube proxy pods running one on the master node or control plane uh, the one as the cluster to uh, work one so the instruction here says we have to kill the ones that is running on cluster two dash work one um, so we can use that using, we can kill the pod using the kubectl uh, delete pod, pod name, and we had to supply the namespace cube system. It has deleted the pod. Now let us execute the previous command to see it has really done it. So we see, uh, we still see like two cube proxy uh, pods running uh, one on the master and the uh, cluster two worker one. But if you take a closer look, um, this one is, you know, just five seconds hold. So um, the cluster tries to uh, keep the state. So if the cube proxy is killed, it, it tries to uh, schedule the cube proxy part again. So if it's a new part, the name is different. So we tried to kill the pod. Now, whatever the events um, this action has triggered, we have to write that event into this file. So we'll use uh, the same 
previous command, which uh, we used to um, get the events. So kubectl will get events. Uh, this time, let us focus only on the cube system namespace and uh, let us also sort sort by the creation timestamp. All right, so this is it. So it's try it tried to kill the pod, cube proxy pod, it's scheduled one, it pulled the image, it created the pod, created a daemon cert set, and it started it started the pod. So this is the event it has generated. Let's copy this and uh, they say we have to write it to this file on opt course 15 slash pod underscore kill dot log. Let's paste what we've copied there and let's save this. Since I have typed the command. Let's copy and see if not made any typo. Ah, there we go. That is some problem. Ah, container kill log. Ah, so we, we have to look into the pod kill log, sorry. Cat, yeah, so we have the events generated when we have tried to kill the cube proxy pod. So it's there. Uh, heading to the next section. So finally kill the container, the container of um, cube proxy pod on the node cluster T work one and write the events into this. Um, let's do that. Uh, cube got will get pods in the cube proxy namespace, sorry, cube uh, cube system namespace. Let's also supply the O wide and grep for cube proxy. So we have to choose the pod which is running on the cluster two worker one. So this is the pod. So they are asking to kill um, uh, the container running within this pod. So we have to use Rick Cuttle PS Okay, let us let us now um, SSH into the node. So we had to connect to the node uh, for doing that. So now execute cuddle ps, sorry, uh, ls. Okay, cuddle ps is the command. Um, so we know the name is ksgd3 dt, the suffix with ksgdt. So so cube proxy is there, uh, is running the KSG DT. So this is the container that the pod is running. Does it does also run many other uh, containers? A pod for Codianist and View, which is the container network and plugin. So the task is basically to kill this uh, container. So we'll use Cuttle rm followed by the container ID. It says it is running, so we have to stop it first. So we'll issue the Cuttle stop followed by the container ID. It has stopped. And let us now remove that. Now let's check 
by click a little PS to see if it is still there. So we don't see the container with the old name or container ID, rather it has created a queue proxy 10 seconds ago with a different container ID. So even if you try and kill the container, it tries to keep its state by scheduling a new new container. So it just behaves uh, as intended. So obviously you'd have, uh, it would have a generated list of events. So let's use the previous and the command that we used earlier um, to filter through this. Perfect. Uh, I think it starts from here. 57 seconds ago. So container image it tried to pull the container image, it created the container uh, cube proxy, it created a pod cube proxy with another name. It started the container cube proxy. So these are the events it has generated. Yeah, let us copy this. Only the events that those are specific to this one. Let us copy this. And um, we have to write this to a file, which is an opt slash course slash 15 slash container underscore kill dot log. I will paste whatever we copied, even that we copied, write this. So now I have typed all the file name. It's better to validate by copying from the question itself to see if it works. It does and looks good. Uh, perfect. So, all right, that is for question number 15. Uh, thanks for your time watching and see you again later.